So now we're going to talk about using our meter for conductivity and TDS. Now if you have this particular meter, which measures all three, it's important to get it into the proper mode. So when calibrating, we're using a conductivity solution. And so you're going to have to get it set for conductivity. Now as you go through, uh, salinity uh, will have a PPM uh, with an S across the screen. And if you have that, uh, you're not in the proper place. And then if it's TDS, you only have PPM, so you would click that mode button to move through. And then finally for conductivity, you'll have the mu S. And conductivity is what you want to calibrate it with. So now we're going to need to calibrate. It should be 1413, but it's not reading that. So you have your probe in your calibration solution, and you're going to go ahead and click the calibration button. And once you do that, you can see it's blinking uh, the correct measurement. And now you're calibrated and ready to do your testing. Reminder, at the end of your calibration, it'll flash 14, 13, and SA and end at the end of calibration. And your meter will stop blinking. At this point, you're going to go ahead and turn your meter off, and you're going to rinse it with distilled water again. And we can go ahead and begin working with sample A and sample B. So now we have sample A and we're going to turn it on and it's going to be in conductivity mode. So we'll go ahead and record conductivity. And then once you get that result, you're going to go ahead and give that to your data collector. And then once that's complete, you can go ahead and switch over to TDS. You'll need to rinse your probe off and repeat that test and your meter will measure TDS and you can record that data too. And then once that's complete, you can go ahead and repeat the process for sample B. A reminder, if you're taking a sample, uh, mu S is the normal reading you would get. But in the event that there's some sort of contamination, it might switch to the millisiemens. And if that happens, if you notice the unit changes on your meter, please note that and mention that to your instructor as you report that data out, because that could lead to further investigation and other issues. As always, just a reminder, please be sure to clean your probes once you're finished testing.